Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hello Monday, one of my favorite times of the week. It is Monday, May 22nd. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. We're almost to the half point in the year, and considering everything I wanted to get done this year, um, wow, time is flying by. Let me say hi in the chat. <laughs> I was going to type hi in the chat. Hi, everyone. Welcome. So let's see, how are we today? We are good. Um, we had a good weekend. It was partly relaxing and partly partly some more chores. Um, we didn't go anywhere, didn't have to do any shopping. Although uh, just before coming live, I did post a video. Yes, first time in a while. It was a haul video from a few weeks ago that I filmed after a live. I said that I might do it and I did. Although it took a couple weeks to get edited and posted. Um, I think it turned out kind of cute. Hope you can check it out. Um, and uh, I will put a link uh, in the description. But if if you hopefully get notified that I've posted a new video. If YouTube is doing what I hope it's doing. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, comment. Um, it'll help uh, more people be able to see it. It's kind of how that whole algorithm-y thing works. Um, and I have... More content I want to edit. After this video, I'm going to get back in the kitchen. Yay. Uh, actually, the recipe that I mentioned in my live, uh, or the in the grocery haul, was making some butter chicken. And um, that's a, I want to say Indian dish? Um, and it's been on my list to make for a while. So after I get done with this, after I'll call it that is what I'll be making in the dinner, uh, making for dinner. You make it in the instant pot so it doesn't take too long. But yeah, um, hopefully that video will be coming out shortly once I have time to edit it. Uh, it's a busy week. My sister is coming to visit. My sister and my niece, I should say, um, this week. They're coming in from Thursday through Sunday. And I will vlog some of it probably uh, if I can have their permission to be on camera. I like to be um, sensitive to people's privacy, and so if they're cool with it, um, we're going to be doing some fun things out and about in San Francisco, and those are all always the fun memories to caption capture, um, especially if the weather's nice, which I'm hoping it will be. Uh, my sister, I believe, has never been to San Francisco, and there's really a lot of cool and fun things to do along the water. Um, we might go to the Natural um, Sciences Museum, which is in Golden Gate Park. So uh, I'm just kind of, well, all the major house projects are done. This week is just kind of sprucing up, um, getting the office here ready, which doubles as a guest bed, bedroom. So I need to kind of get my computer out of here and put down the Murphy bed and all the things. And I'm a little distracted right now because I see Mr. Amazon Prime truck just rolled up. Uh, and I think I, I ordered some um, organizational uh, an item yesterday that I'll probably talk about in some video because it's a favorite. I've ordered it now three times. <laughs> so if I've ordered it that many times, I've been using it, it must be good, right? Um, I do have a couple other questions um, that you, my wonderful friends, asked um, in the comments. Um, and who are my five favorite authors and why? And then Donna or Jack asked about my sister. So I will, uh, let me get to today's question first. Let's see. Da, 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 da. We'll go pink. Even though I'm wearing blue today. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Okay, so the question is, if you won or inherited a million dollars, what is the first thing you would do with the money. Hmm. Wow. Sometimes Andrew and I like to play this fantasy game, you know. What if you won the lottery? What would you do? If you won or inherited a million dollars, what is the first thing you would do with the money? Wow, that's a good question. Um a million dollars is a lot of money. Um for sure. But it doesn't quite go as far as it used to if you know what I mean. 
So I think I would be somewhat conservative and um, I'd want to invest some to help my money make more money. Um, I'd want to donate some to charity for sure. Probably go on a really nice vacation for an Andrew and I, something, you know, on the lines of first class, because that would definitely be a treat that we haven't been, nor I don't know if we'll ever be able to do. Um, you know, check in with family and see if there's anything they really needed, um, that I could gift them. Um, yeah. Um, but I think as far as for Andrew and I, um, if we came into that kind of money, it would go towards travel. I'm pretty sure. Um, we have talking more about traveling, places we want to go, things we want to do. And when you're disabled travelers, <coughs> money can really be a mitigating factor in the safety and accessibility of said travel. Unfortunately, in our culture, I don't care what country you live in, um, money buys you access and um, service. And so having that extra um, ability, uh, I think could really help, whether it's, you know, hiring people to help us um, with our luggage and all that stuff, um, whether it be with transportation, um, whether it be getting a um, higher class in air and train travel, you know, train travel is big in Europe. And so I think um, we would utilize that a lot. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really what I think we would do. It is fun to think about. You know, I often say that money can't buy happiness, but it can buy choices. And it can buy a sense of peace and stability. I have lived without money. I actually, uh, in my mid-20s, filed for bankruptcy, a consumer bankruptcy. This was back when you could discharge um, debt and not have to repay it. Uh, it was not for student loans or some of it was medical debt, um, but a lot of it was just consumer debt. I was living a lifestyle that I could not afford. And when I looked at my earning potential, even 15 years out, and then what the interest rate was or the interest rates, and I tried the whole debt consolidation and all that stuff, um, I would have been paying this debt for decades. And so I saved up enough to hire a bankruptcy attorney and um, went to a judge and they granted my, uh, I really feel like it was my one get out of jail free card. I mean, it really taught me a lesson. Um, of course, I couldn't get credit for several years after, but I didn't want credit. <laughs> that was kind of the point. Um, I really got, in, I did not have good financial literacy growing up. We were raised kind of um, upper middle class. Um, my father was in the military and my mom was a teacher and they grew up, my, my dad not so much, but my mom grew up for her time, you know, upper middle class. So we never wanted for anything. Um, and I lived very much the stereotypical, you know, hearing my dad grumble paying the bills, but yet we always really, you know, were taken care of in terms of we had good Christmases and birthdays, um, just didn't have to worry about money. And I think that because they didn't involve me in the process of understanding um, how to um, care for money, I don't know if that's the right word, but, you know, budget and all the things, when I got out into adulthood in my, uh, you know, 18, 19, 20, and college campuses flooded, hi, Vaughn, flooded, uh, credit card companies flooded college campuses, and department stores gave away credit cards that, like, they were candy, I just didn't, um, I didn't have a good solid foundation on being responsible with that. So, um, yeah, I, I look at money very utilitarianism in a very utilitarianism way. Um, and so thinking about coming into a million dollars, I think I would tend to be pretty practical about it. And Andrew, my husband, I can say he's really always been that way his entire life. So when we got together, there were, of course, uh, a learning curve for me in conversations, but I think we really, um, like you want marriage to be, 
I think we've really grown into the same place. So, uh, yeah, money is not something we fight about, thankfully, knock on wood. Um, I know a lot of couples do, and um, it can be stressful, but that doesn't seem to be an issue for us. So that was a very long-winded explanation to uh, say what I would do if, uh, if I came into a million bucks. You know, I do gamble occasionally, buy a lottery ticket. I do fill out the publisher's clearinghouse, although uh, we I don't buy anything from it. I just um, play the odds. And yeah, you know, but if we never win, it's okay too. We're very happy. We're very content. And um, hopefully the government passes the debt ceiling so the whole economy here in the United States doesn't go tits up. So, you know, you know, there's that. Um, as for the other questions, um, Angie's question of my top five authors and why. Boy, I'm a little ashamed of this. I can't really think of five authors because I'm not much of a reader, to be honest. And you might think that's odd. I ask that myself. I think it's odd because I'm a, I like writing. And typically, writers like to be readers. But I've always been the one to say, let's get, can we just go see the movie? Um, of course, I had to read in college. Um, because, you know, there was required reading and um, comprehensive es comprehension essays you'd have to do. Um, so I would say of the reading that I have done, also I'll say to genres. I typically like nonfiction, biography type books. Um, think I, I don't read uh, chick, you know, chick romance. I don't read Harlequin. I don't really, I don't read mystery. I don't really read any fiction. Um, I just either enjoy listening to music, listening to podcasts, watching YouTube, watching TV more than reading. But I will say if I find a book, um, and it hooks me in the first page or two, I kind of devour it. So I think the last book I really read um, that engaged me was, and I've talked about it before on the channel, um, it is a creative book called The Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. Yes, I love that book. Um, I tried to read The Atomic Habits by James Clear, and I only got halfway through it. Um, what else? I do like authors like Angel Maya, Maya Angelou. Um, I remember reading Toni Morrison. Um, she wrote The Bluest Eye. Um, and Angelou wrote I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. Um, who else? That's about all I can think of off the top of my head. Like I said, I'm a little embarrassed that I can't name five, but I think I've given you an idea of what kind of things I like to read. And I'm hoping that maybe in a future journey phase of my life that I will start to enjoy reading more. Um, but right now it's just not, not part of my daily routine and not something that I crave or that I really make time for. So, but maybe it's also too because I haven't been exposed or I don't know really great authors. So if I'm missing somebody or something, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you like to read who you're reading, why you're reading them. Um, I do, I will not buy new books anymore. Um, if I buy a book, I, I really should go to the library more. That's number one. Um, number two, but if I do buy a book on Amazon, I buy it used. I just think paying retail for a book these days is, that's not something I'm into. So um, there's that. Um, and then the other question from um, either uh, from the household of Donna and Jack um, is about my sister, who I did say early in the in the live here is coming to visit. No, she's not a little person. She's average height. And the only I was the only I am the only disabled person in my family, like immediate family, extended family. Um, yes, you can acquire disabilities with um you know age or injury i mean i don't really have that i know of um family members who have those issues either but i was definitely the only person who was born with a disability so um yeah mine was just a 
kind of a freak genetic situation. Um, doctors aren't even really sure still what caused my condition. Um, and they biopsied my parents and my sister and they didn't have it. So, you know, kind of a mystery. Um, and so, yeah, she's, uh, she's tall and beautiful and we're definitely, there's a family resemblance there. So like I said, if she's cool with me photographing her or videoing her, I'll let you tell me if you see the family resemblance. I, I would say I tend to take after my dad and she takes after my mom, but, um, we did the whole, uh, not 23 and me, but we did the, uh, what's that gene genealogy where you test your DNA ancestry. We did ancestry and we're definitely sisters. So, uh, <laughs> so there's no, there's, even though sometimes we joked when we were real young and we'd be fighting about this or that, we were like, maybe we were switched at birth, but like, no, we're really sisters. And, uh, you know, not that you asked, but if anybody watching this is curious um, or doesn't have any reservations, I would say about finding out about your ancestry, you should do Ancestry.com. It was a really cool experience. Um, and uh, I, I liked learning about um, both sides of my family trees. And I want to do more work on that in the future. I feel like I kind of just barely scratched the surface. Um, but, you know, connecting with some of my cousins and talking about it with, you know, family members who are into it, um, it's been really cool. So, uh, if they come up on a sale, mostly around like the Mother's Day, Father's Day and holidays, they'll have sales. Um, and you thought about it, you should give it a try. Um, so yeah, those were all the questions for today. Um, I appreciate uh, you watching this, whether it's here live or, um, you know, on the replay. I do need to catch up on doing some of the post edit on these lives. Uh, it's on my list. That means going in and fixing the thumbnail and, you know, adjusting the titles and captioning the text, making sure the caption is accurate and all those things, but I will do it. And I just really enjoy doing these. And yeah, keep the questions coming. I really appreciate it. Um, and I look forward to seeing you Next week, and I'll have a lot to recap about the visit with my sister. Um, next Monday will be the Memorial Day, the official Memorial Day here for us in the United States. Um, she's going to be leaving on Sunday. It just worked, be worked out better for flights and schedules and such. Um, and But Anna will have a day off. And I think we're going to be pretty tired from hosting, so I don't think we're going to have any plans. But, um, you know, if we do, I'll probably record it if we go somewhere um, but otherwise, I will just be here and look forward to seeing you and catching up. And yeah, I hope you're having a great Monday. Hope you're having a great start to your week. And I will see you next week, if not before. And don't forget to check out my uh, grocery haul video that I posted earlier today. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.